So once again, good evening. So any questions in yesterday's session? In first demonstration? Okay, kindly provide your email ID and mobile number. Uh, excuse me, so uh, I didn't provide my email ID and mobile number. So kindly provide in the chat room. Okay. Right. So last night and even today, many people call me and this is my contact number. In case you want to talk to me, kindly call me on this number. My call timing 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. or 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. In case if I miss your call, definitely I will give you a call back. Don't worry. Right. Come to the session. So my demo has worthwhile information. Kindly listen to it thoroughly. Ask me your questions. Don't hesitate if it's stuck somewhere. Anyway, I'm sharing the video. You can go through it multiple times. But still, stop me if you don't understand at any place. So what is the agenda today? Today is the second day demo. Today's agenda. First one, a recap. Yesterday's session. For 15 minutes. Remaining 45 minutes. Fresh part. Yesterday, I explained my name and I provided my contact number and currently working employee. The course duration 50 to 60 hours. Daily one hour is the class timing. Monday to Friday, mandatory classes. Saturday, depending on the student's interest. And I'm going to cover in detail. And this is a subject I plan for the next two months. Environment knowledge. You are going to enter into an environment. In that environment, what are the components available, tools available? That knowledge I'm going to provide. Data warehousing fundamental. Data model fundamental. Agile methodology, GitHub versioning, two near real-time projects, multiple case studies. And SQL knowledge, three to four hours. This is just to understand how we use database objects in Power BI. Within three, four hours, <clears throat> It's not possible to cover complete SQL. Within three, four hours, it's not possible to cover complete SQL. 
So you need to learn separately, either in our institute or outside. And I will help you in the resume preparation, FAQs and mock interviews. This is regarding environment. And coming to subject level, cloud components I'm going to cover in detail, like Power BI Desktop, Power BI Service. On-premises components I'm going to explain, Report Server Desktop, Report Server and Builder, and Power Apps and Power Automate. So these two I'm going to give you four hours training, and these components I'm giving maximum training, around 50 hours, 45 hours. I will take dedicatedly on this. Let's start the part for this. In the 60 hours training, what all you need is you need a lot of patience to attend all the sessions. You should be a good aspirant to try for the job and work in the companies. In case you are seriously looking for a better subject, depth subject, definitely I'm one of the best trainer. You can join. We have wonderful success rate. One small example I will show you. Right. And coming to institution, institution provide good theory and practical material. Daily live class videos you will find. And the training is fully practical under training. And you'll be having good interaction with me during the classes. I will help you in the resume preparation. Hope you already observed. And WhatsApp group also created for your questions. The FAQ is also discussed. After completing this course, below five years, you can keep in the market and you can try for all these opportunities. You want to try in the senior positions. Yes, possible. Senior roles also possible with more than five years. Power BI modeler, Power BI designer, Power BI specialist, architect. But this course is not sufficient. Without working in one, one or two projects, entry and you cannot try on this. So this course does not suit for these opportunities. Below five years of dedicated Power BI experience possible, relevant to Power BI. Right. So for each and every batch, we create a folder with videos, materials, all the stuff. So you'll find daily video like this. Whether you attend or not, no matter, you'll find a video like this. Right. So conclusion. The training objective is job-oriented training and real-time working perspective in case you want to work in the real-time, what all you are supposed to know. And PL300 certification support also provided. And after completing this course, 70 to 80% PL300 exam you can clear off. And we provide good material, good videos, good communication and Power BI accounts for practice. As I said earlier, environment components I will cover, SQL language I will cover, Power BI components I will cover, these all. In brief, any graduate can learn and knowledge on Excel or SQL is an advantage. Not compulsory, but advantage if you have. So this is the part I explained last class. Along with that, some demo content. Data to power platform evolution, I explained. And that time I covered what is MSBA, what is Power BA, what is Azure BA. These differences also covered. If anyone new today, don't panic. I will share yesterday video, today, today's demo video, both in your email ID, kindly go through it. Even YouTube links we will share with you, kindly watch it. Demo information is very valuable information. You will not get in all the places. So listen to it thoroughly, note down important points. Very important. 
let me brief data to power platform evolution and then continue with power bi in it industry we have three types of data structured data semi structured data unstructured data and also last class i explained two formats the data will be stored file format database format and two areas the information will be stored two areas on premises within your company level within your server level within your organization level second one cloud level two areas the information will be stored cloud somebody else storage area knowingly or unknowingly we are all working with cloud we are placing our mobile messages our contacts our videos everything in the cloud google cloud apple cloud samsung cloud different cloud areas we are taking our backup so we have three types of data two types of data storage and two areas we keep and coming to it applications majorly two one runs the business one analyze the business your power bi or bi comes under analyzing the business mostly management team use and how they use they use reports and dashboards for decision making or analytical operations and i explained what is ba what is the input and output of ba business intelligence intelligence of the business or intelligence to the business simply decision making information or analytical information of the business through visuals insights we provide the decision making or analytical information but the two in the form of a report or dashboard a report for detailed data and for an operation dashboard for high level data for a subject area data what type of data subject area data dashboard and input input to the ba tool any ba tool ba process is data any data anywhere data any type of data input output from the ba report or dashboard so you guys are going to work on this input and finally produce report or dashboard and i also explained a study between input data to a report or dashboard what type of process we have the process is called ba process very standard process all companies are following whatever it may be the company whatever it may be the size no matter it has to follow the same process but tools may vary this is the first layer we call it as etl layer extract transform layer where we gather daily data and load into huge storage this is second layer once huge storage is available required data we will take and generate aggregate analytical information once this is completed we will move to data presentation layer reporting dashboard layer so these are the four layers a ba project require data gathering data storage required data storage and data presentation four layers required we use different tools in this area different databases in this area different analytical tools in this area different reporting tools in this area and especially top companies able to spend this money top companies so one organization designed an end to end solution a simple solution that is msba from microsoft in 2005 so msb is a suit which has multiple tools ssis is the first tool ssas is the second tool ssrs is the third tool so this tool participate here this tool participate here this tool participate here this is the first one and i added yesterday when msb available why power bi 
MSB announced in 2005. And it brought leadership to the Power BI leadership since 2008. I'm wrong, actually. Leadership to Microsoft from 2008. So Microsoft is the leader in analytics and BA for the last 16 years. MSBA brought the leadership. Now Power BA continuing it. MSBA, a very strong component, but there are some drawbacks. The architecture of MSBA design before 2004 market. But after 2004, drastic change in the IT. Social media applications available more and more, like Facebook, Twitter, and all. Social media, cloud applications available more and more in the market. Mobile apps and tab apps, people using highly. Is all support not available here? And majorly on premises solution. Mobile and tab friendly components not available. Limited inputs connectivity. Average coding also required. Report visuals also less, data presentation visuals. And that too, every two to three years, a new release. So Microsoft decided to release a new component. New component where it supports cloud and on-premises. One single application to perform end-to-end -end operations. Mobile and tab-friendly operations. That to low-code approach. And more visuals, even custom visuals possible. More visuals and custom visuals creation also possible in Power BI. You want your own visual to create? Yes, you can create and use. And here we are having monthly updates, not like MSBA, every two to three years update. Monthly updates we are having. And Power BI announced in 2013 July. And from there, every month we have an update. This I explained. And after that, I showed in the diagram level in this diagram level. So Power BI is a self-service BI application, which has multiple concepts. For what? To perform end-to-end -end BI. This is the first concept which sits here. Second concept which sits here. Third concept which sits here. So a single application with multiple concepts to perform end-to-end -end BA process. Even what is Azure BA also explained last class. So conclusion of that. MSBA is a self-service BA suit with set of tools to perform end-to-end -end operations and generate reports or dashboards. Now coming to Power BI, it's a low-code self-service BI application with multiple concepts. I will fill the definition here and then continue on this. Power BI. The people who joined today don't feel panic. Refer to the previous class video. Now listen to the fresh part. Powering BI or adding power to the BI. Some people say a low code self-service B application with multiple concepts to perform end-to-end -end operations and generate reports or dashboards. So Power BI input is
input to Power BI is data, any type, any format, any storage, output, output from Power BI. is business intelligence data in the form of reports and dashboards. That's it. But how is it possible? We have in between BA process that is by using Power BA concepts such as Power Query, Power Pivot, Power Review, our map, and Power BI service or server. SSBA process. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Even you are going to tell uh, gateways also, right? 100% repeat required. Okay. I'll explain very in detail. Okay, fine. Uh, yesterday I tried to reach you, but I could not. I'm um, attending from US. It will work your mobile number from US. Yes, it works. Buddy. I think it's a uh, Google. Okay. This is a contact number. You're supposed to I, reach out. I tried it. I tried it. Uh... Could you please recheck again today? Okay, fine. Right. Thanks. Right, so. Now, what is the part? What is the additional part I'm going to cover today? Power BI is to generate reports and dashboards. So, full support to ZUA plus the low code approach. This I'm going to show you now. And you all suppose you all should practice today. After practicing, take a decision whether Power BI suits you or not. Right. Power BI components. As I told you earlier, first one cloud components are different. And we have a component called desktop, Power BI desktop, Power BI service, app.powerbi.com. This is about cloud. Second one, on-premise components. Power BI report server desktop, comma, Power BI report server. Other components. Gateway, report builder, mobile publisher. So these are the different components available. Now, important one, Power BI desktop. Important and Power BI desktop. Now, what is desktop? Take a Windows desktop. What is desktop? ZUA area to perform a set of operations. It's a fully graphical area. Similarly, Power BI desktop. Power BI ZUA area to perform set of operations. Got clarity? Right. What is the input? Input to desktop. Output from the desktop. Input to desktop is data. As I told you, any data, any type of data, any format of data. The first application in the market with this capability. Output is Power BI desktop 
document extended with our extension is dot pbix this is the extension but what about between in between we perform ba process that is ba process using concepts so power bi desktop in case you pass your data it will extract it and then it will transform it it will model it secure it visualize it finally the ba data it will produce and this is possible by using a concept called power query power query concept will do extract and transform power pivot concept will do model and security power view concept will do visualization got clarity so power bi desktop will do all this so you're just saying about document what about sharing power bi a service or this is cloud or power bi a server on premise within the company and this is for reports they are about documents desktop documents store comma share reports and manage so share reports comma manage data and few more services so this is only for developing the document but if you want to share to other people you want to store it and you want to do other operations compulsory service or server required what is required service or server clear everyone now then how do we install desktop and how do we work on it i will show you so this is an example i'm going to show you in the next few minutes this is my family data daily expenses and it is a transactional data because my transactions only i'm keeping here so this is called as a transactional data and i want to convert analytical data like this for my family expenses even you keep your family expenses data daily data and generate a report or dashboard like this so this is transactional data and this is analytical data but how do you convert this data like this like your total spending and here you are maintaining day amount reason area location which day how much amount what is the area you travel for which reason you spent petrol how much travel how much food how much entertainment how much in which location and here i want to show what is the minimum amount i spent maximum amount i spent average amount i spent total amount i spent what are the locations i travel for which reason how much percentage money i spent and the different categories and their amount comparison that to i require year wise month wise analysis if i select 19 in august 19 in august data it should show 20 in july 20 in july data it has to show how come this transactional data you convert like this analytical data only one way by using power bi desktop and power bi it will take your data it will transform your data it will model your data secure data finally generate visuals so this desktop will do all these operations and generate like this 
So this practice I'm going to show you now. Even you guys need to practice after the session. I'll provide you this input data. I will tell you how to download and install so that you can install it and practice today to generate this kind of report. Right now, where is the input data first? I will open the input data. This is my family expenses data. See this, this is called column heading. So not column heading, this is column heading. This is general description. And this is my spending. Now, what about power by desktop? How do we do download it? What are the requirements? So very high level, I will tell you. OS, Windows, Eight are above, but 10 is recommended. 10 are above recommended. Operating system, RAM, a minimum two ZB, but four ZB, or above, better. Yes, Anil? Yeah, it supports on Mac also, right? No, it does not support directly on Mac. Okay. Is there any other way? To yeah, you need to install Windows and then go for Mac, uh, go for installation of Power BI. Yeah, okay. Processor, minimum two gigahertz processor required. No other requirements. Not while downloading, look at the requirements. This is for better, better operations. These are minimal, but while downloading, go for the better requirements. Then how to download? Is it chargeable? Download three ways. Yeah, Google it. Google it. Advanced download. No Power BI account required. B. Google it. Normal download. Power BI account required. I'll give you this account, don't worry. C, Power BI service, download. Power BI account required. Three ways you can download Power BI desktop. And th this, these two ways are recommended in the real time. These two ways recommended. Why? I will tell you tomorrow's session. So I will go to machine. And one more point I forgot to tell you. Type, type of OS, 64 bit recommended. But how do you check all this? 
search syst system info if you type system information here system information it will show you all the details what is your os my os is windows 10 pro my machine type is 64 bit machine my installed ram is 8 gb ram my system ram my install processor yeah amd ryzen processor 2.6 megahertz two cores and four logical processors got clarity in this area you find the complete information if you are new to it okay now go to this power bi desktop download click downloads i'm maintaining little speed so kindly watch it after getting the video open it slowly slowly <clears throat> practice it downloads power bi desktop download is there advanced download is there now go to this tomorrow i will tell you about this because it requires account power bi account i am going to this see clearly mentioned power bi it transforms your data into actionable insights with dashboards and reports come down microsoft power bi desktop download these are the details what is the version you are downloading on which date it is published recent one and 64 bit software available 32 bit this is called 32 bit software what are the differences tomorrow i will tell you now requirements these are the requirements you need know, to verify what is the os it support no need to ask anyone while downloading identify the right os install instructions click on it in this area just click download 64 bit 436 463 mb next once you download it appears like this this is a power bi desktop like this and go to this simply follow the wizard mostly next next finish only just click on it next next finish or follow the wizard instructions and finally you will get a shortcut on desktop windows desktop so power bi desktop shortcut on windows desktop but how it looks like this there is one more desktop this is on premises desktop i will tell you later and for the time being this cloud desktop we will discuss so we have input we have our application now i want to generate report so click on this
Sí. So this is the first screen usually called as get started screen. Since I logged in, this is the login. Since I logged in, you are able to see tutorials and videos. As in case you don't have a Power BI account, these two you won't find. That's why account is required. Without account also you can work on, but few things you can't find. So what is, what is the advantage of the screen? The screen will give you quick reference links. What is new in this month update you want to see? You can go to this. And what is the complete Power BI history you want to see? Go to this. And Power BI technical discussion you want to have? in the forums level possible, technical discussion. You want to speak to your neighbor people, neighbor organization people, or you want to speak to Microsoft experts, then you can contact forums. Or you have concept doubt and you want to read some material. You have a concept doubt, you want to watch some video. And this is Power BI desktop. P B A D capital. And you want to bring the data into desktop. You want to use the recent sources, this. And these are recent reports. And you want to open other reports, other reports. So simply it is providing quick reference links. So this is called get started screen. You can close it if you don't want. And these are main screen. main interface, colorblind friendly interface. Which means colorblind people can work on. And this interface will get the data and it will transform, it will model, it will secure, it will visualize, and generate BA data. So this process is called BA process. And this is the first step, second step, third step, fourth step, fifth step. These are all steps. This is BA process. These are all steps you can perform very closely. First area, extraction. Data you want to bring, this is the area. Data you want to transform, this is the area. Data you want to model, this is the area. Data security you want to apply, this is the area. Reporting you want to do, this is the area. Five areas, very nearby areas. If you don't have this uh, Power BI, for the same in MSBA level, three tools required. MSBA level, three tools. Even if you go to other BI, multiple tools and components required. But Power BI level, all in a single area. And these two combination comes under power query concept with respect to concepts, power query concept. And this come under power pivot concept. And this five comes under power view concept. Don't worry, you will get very clear understanding the regular class. This is a demo I maintain a little speed, kindly cooperate. So this is the end-to-end -end process we do. These are the areas we do the operations. Now what we need to do first, and usually in the regular class, I will explain this diagram for 40 minutes. Only this, this interface for 40 minutes. Because a lot of things are available in the interface. I need to explain, but we don't have that much of time, so I'm not taking much. I, I'm not taking that part here. 
kindly cooperate. So in our current example, we need to bring the data. So I go to get data. And our current data level, there are a couple of issues available. So I go for transforming data. And then I will go to visualization da visualizing data because my source having only one table, so no relationship. And I did not talk about security, so no modeling. So in our current scenario, we need to bring the data, we need to transform the data, we need to visualize the data. These three areas I'm going to show you. Look at that. First one, get data. Click it. And what is your data? Excel data. But there are different types of sources available. In the regular class, we are going to see multiple sources. We will work on SQL Server, we'll work on web, we'll work on JSON, we'll work on cubes and also services. Multiple sources we are going to work in the regular class. Multiple sources. But this is a demo practice, simple practice. So I'm going for Excel workbook. That workbook in my lab backup folder. This is my workbook. Click open. Get data, browse and open. And this is the first one which is having data. Click load. After this, this you will find in this area. So what is this area? I will tell you tomorrow. But for the time being, this information you will find here, whatever you bring. But if you want to see the data, click on this, this data area, this area. So when I very hard clicked on load, just uh... on the prompt level. Don't worry, when you open it, it will ask you in the down, load, then it will load. Excel workbook, something you open. Select anything, click load, that's it, in the down. It's like importing the sheet into Excel, correct? Yeah, importing into Power BI. Yeah. yeah. Right, so once it is done, just go to this data view area, see the data. Something is not correct because date is supposed to be the column heading. Amount supposed to be the column heading. This is not happened, so it is not looking good. Am I right? So we need to transform this data. Point number one. Second one, I'm having year, month, day but i want year wise analysis month wise analysis so in this data from this column year and month we need to split what to do year and month we need to split how do we split so these kind of operations called as data transformations or data changes taking proper column headings splitting year and month etc then go to the first one, this area, and then click on it, transform data. So I used firstly this. Now I'm using transforming data in this area. Click on this. What next? It is open a separate window. When you click transform data, it will open a separate window. This window is called extract transform window or extract transform editor, editor. Once your operation is completed, you need to close it. Then only you can continue with the visual reporting. 
okay let me explore bigger what i want to do this is supposed to be date amount supposed to be column heading so click on this area what is the option available use first row as header and then in this area second from here i want year and month name then click on this add a column from examples one second after clicking add a column from examples click on this select year just look at the year this is a year click and click on this empty cells click okay here is done similarly month name i want click on this add column from examples click on this empty cell month name august click on this empty area okay so we got year value we got a month name value without writing any code simply we split without writing any code by using this option so two options are used one is use first row as header second one this concept once operations completed we need to save and close go to this close and apply so it will apply the changes and then close now go to this and see this the column headings are proper and year separately sp split from this from this date month name split also available what next so x i will go to report of you extraction completed transformation complete in this area one and two modeling you can't do because only one available modeling means establishing relationship multiple available we can establish only one available not possible security anyway not possible so only report view available reporting required some people say report canvas report view area or visualization area anything is fine here we take these visuals we take this data we take these concepts everything in this area right now i want to compare i want to compare my spending reasons then take a bar chart only comparison you want bar chart this is the one click on it it looks like this then take the columns here so reason into this you take y axis amount into this you take why i will tell you later so reason into y axis that means here this is y axis 
reason amount in this area amount x axis so take y axis level reason x axis level amount visible you want to see in a bigger view click focus mode food travel highest spending books internet lowest spending and food more than 50k spending and travel more than 25k spending mm -hmm. and you can place cursor here put value travel value i did not perform any calculation simply i drag and drop the columns system doing automatically and showing it this is the beauty of beautiness of visuals this is a beautiness of visuals so my top spending my bottom spending and comparison I want to see composition only food amount, travel amount. I'm able to see, but how much percentage I spent for food I want, then take a pie chart. This is a pie chart. I will take a reason. I will take amount values level amount. Now explore bigger. Now see that. Food I spent 52%, travel I spent 25%, entertainment 8%, petrol 5%, internet 5%, books 5%. Got clarity? And I want to see what are the locations I traveled then take a mapping visible map take location in that area location into location see the location it is showing explore bigger vishakhapatnam vijayawada <clears throat> suryapet hyderabad siddipet these locations Now, you want to control with values, go to bubble size, amount I will place. Either about more value or more spending like this. Or Vishakhapatnam more spending, bigger bubble. So these are the areas, small, less spending, so small bubbles. So bigger bubble, more value, small bubble, less value. And not only that, I want to show total business value. Take a card visual. This is a card. Ayo. Take a card visual. You want total business value, right? I will minimize. Amount value you take on the card. You want average value also. Click card place here average you want just drag and drop amount low code no need to write code just click on this corner and here you select average i want a minimum spending click card visual place here card minimum value spent amount you take click on this corner minimum no need to write any coding and you want to format this possible click on this click on format your visible what is this call out value so this is called call out value how you want to format this is called category label how you want to format
now go to call out value i will take 30 size bold now i will take a color called blue color and here i will take none None means no format. Next, category label. This one I am taking 15, bold, and I will take pink color. I want to take border for this. Go to general section, here border available. Effect, general section, effect, visual border on. Already looking good, right? The same thing I want here and here. Then click on it. There is something called Format Painter. Highlight and go to this. Click on this. Again, Format Painter, click on it. The format you copied. But customer expecting. Year slicing and month slicing. And then I he wants to see year wise spending, year wise locations. How? Click slicer visible. This is slicer. Take year here. It is showing like this. But I don't want like this. Then go to this format your visible. Slicer setting between available. Take list. What to do? Go to format area. Slicer setting. Take vertical list. This is vertical list. Image. You can take a border. Go to general effect visual border. Color central you take at home. Similarly, one more slicer you want for month. Click on this. Just drag and drop month name. I'm minimizing. Click on this. Slicer setting vertical list. General effect. And customer showing everywhere comparison, composition, locations. But what about value? Values he wants to see. Table visible. Click table visible. That is missing here. Data visible. This is table to show the values. Year wise. It is taking sum of year. When you drag and drop year, sum of year it is taking. So click on this drop down area. Don't summarize. Year wise, location wise, amount I want, amount. Ready. Now, if you select July, July month information everywhere. If you select 20, 2020 is July month. See, it is changing. Minimum is 100 only, always. See, we see what the highest spending in 2020 July. Go to August. August, we see what the lowest and Vishakhapatnam highest. And food 71 percentage in the August. Food 27,000. And not only this, even you can click on this area. Travel. Travel information. I travel to these locations. Traveling value is this. And traveled years are this. So this is called cross filtering and this is called slicing. So when you click on it, this is called cross filter. And this is called slicing. This kind of wonderful interaction available in the Power BI. Do not confuse. If you're able to practice, practice it. Otherwise, ignore. So this kind of visuals you can create without code and cross Visual filtering, visual communication is possible. See, based on one visual, other visuals changing. 
slicing possible and many other possible and this you want to save you can save it like a document you can save file menu save where is the file menu this is the one save and you can save under you can save with an extension pbix when i attack power bi first report on 0 to 0 5 2023 and what is the extension pbix ms word document extend with docx excel documents extend with excel lsx power bi documents extend with pbx document it's not a report save but customers do not require the extraction area transformation area modeling area and all they require only this part customers require only this part in the mobile level or desktop level or web level only this part then how come you share only this part to customer in that situation you require service or server so you created a power bi desktop now document if you want to save sorry if you want to share only the re reporting area then you require service or server that is next question and you want to see what is the application you created i'm closing it this is the application you created under documents area power bi desktop document So from our normal Excel data, we are able to generate wonderful visuals, isn't it? Yes, sir. Right. So any complexity you found? No. Very simple. So this is the agenda I plan for today. How easily we develop a report from data and how easy, uh, sorry, how beautifully visuals communicate with each other with slicing or without slicing how do we save the applications and what is the extension of it in case you want to share report part to other people how do we share everything i explained today and from tomorrow regular classes at 6 pm Six PM. Kindly practice, plan, and join. And I'm having total six batches in a day. Seven AM. Ongoing batch. Eight AM. Ongoing batch. Nine AM. New. And next week. comma 6 p.m current batch 7 p.m also current batch 6 7 p.m is running batch rest all running these are all running batches and this is a current batch this is a test week batch So whatever I committed, materials, videos, proper communication, accounts, I will provide you. You need only one thing, patience. Patience to attend the sessions and having dedication, commitment to practice. That's it. I'll give you in detail subject, suitable for jobs, to work in the real time and to appear for certification. Uh, Vinay, can you explain That's me about the uh, PL300?